Hello, and welcome to Topaz Labs Video AI Tutorials. Today, we will go over frame interpolation and how to handle this within the Video AI application. Let's begin. If you consider the animation process, existing frames would equate to being the key poses, and these interpolated frames would be the tweening frames that follow through the animation between the key poses. In this animated example, you can see this clearly. Keep in mind, however, for video, too drastic of a difference between frames can generate poor results. So why make these new frames? The intended purpose for these newly generated frames are for them to make a movement more fluid, slow down the video speed, or both. Frame rates are essentially the number of frames that are displayed consecutively per calculated length of time. The widely accepted identifier is frame per second, or FPS. The amount of frames that are shown per second plays a large role in how we perceive a video in not just the speed, but in creating a more comfortable experience or emoting the sense of a nostalgic era film, to name a few. For example, if you take a video clip at 30 frames per second and change this to 5 or 8 frames per second, this choppy playing footage will definitely give the feel of a bad internet connection for the dial-up days. The same is true when going in the opposite direction and making a much smoother visual experience when making a 30 frames per second video into a 60 frames per second one. Here is a list of some common frame rates you may come across. Post or digital slow motion is the process of interpreting the original frames and duration of a video to algorithmically exceed the current length by a determined value from the user in order to produce a longer and slower video iteration of the original input. In other words, you can digitally slow down your footage to create a result that was not originally recorded in that way. Usually, slow motion from video is used as a creative medium to emphasize a moment, give grandeur to a subject like that of a majestic waterfall. In the VFX industry, this usually gives a monster-sized creature or weather pattern a sense of a larger and weighted scale. This is also a great way to create a breathing moment, whether the content is large or micro. In Video AI, you will be able to find the frame interpolation here by clicking this on. You could set your frame rate here. Setting the frame rate is simple. You could either use your original one or click on the caret and select any of the options here. If you can't find the frame rate you are looking for, you could always select any of these and highlight and type it in. So in this case, I will say 240. There you go. It is also very important to make sure that whatever codec you are using supports the amount of frames per second. For example, I do know 240 frames far exceeds what H.264 can produce. So I need to make sure my codec settings here is set to something that could accept that, which would be H.265. If I'm happy with my frame rate, here is where you could select the slow motion. By how much do you want this to be slower? two times, three times, four. If you want half, for example, four and a half, or three and a half, two and a half, all you need to do is select any of these and just type that in. So we'll say 2.5 times. Now this does not have to be divisible by fives or anything like that. I could even put 2.7 and that'll be fine. This is an easy way to add a custom slow motion. Here we will go over the AI models from the oldest to the newest, since each of these are prone to user preferences. So I will briefly go over the strengths of the, of the models. So Kronos is one of Video AI's earliest models. This is a general interpolation tool that gives good results for frames per second conversion and slow motion. Note that this gives good results for four times slow motion or less. Kronos Fast 
This model has similar uses as Kronos. Though this is usually faster than Kronos, it can at times take nearly as long as the regular Kronos. The results are very similar, but upon very close inspection, there are some minuscule artifacts at times. So if you're in a pinch, Kronos Fast might be your answer. Now the Apollo model, this is specialized in nonlinear motion and slightly blurry inputs. Rendering is faster than Kronos. When it comes to frame rate, this is best used when you need exactly two, four, or eight times the frame count multiples, such as 30 frames to 60 frames. And it's best not to go beyond the eight times for slow motion, as artifacts can arise. Apollo Fast is one of the fastest models but can also produce lesser quality than Apollo when it comes to large motion. Apollo Fast is best used from non-doubled conversions such as 24 frames per second to 29.97 frames per second. If processing speed is a factor, this may be a good model to work with. Now, Aeon is meant for high quality video. This is one of the newest models and also the most system intensive. The accuracy of this model is above Apollo and Kronos. This can be used if there are large amounts of motion across the entirety of the frame of the video. This model can support up to 16 times slow motion. Though these AI models have their intentions and recommendations, it might be worth testing small sections with your footage to see what will give you the best result. Ultimately, what works for you is what you should be using. Within the frame interpolation settings, you'll find two options, replace, duplicate frames, and sensitivity. By having this selected, it will replace repeated frames with interpolated ones. So let's imagine that you are working with an animation clip held on twos, meaning the first frame is held twice, so AA, then you got BB, CC, and so forth. So all the animation is held on twos. So with this option, deselected, so let's go ahead and remove that, the two duplicated frames will remain the same. So you'll get your AA, BB, CC, and so forth. However, if this is turned on, then the AI model is searching for the same duplicated frames. So even the original ones, such as the AA, BB, CC, and so forth, would be modified. So it'd be A, modified A, B, the modified B, C, modified C because what it's looking for is to remove any duplicated frames. So keep that in mind when you are working with animation. Sensitivity correlates directly with the Replace Duplicate Frames tool. This essentially lets the tool know how aggressively to raise or decrease the threshold for replacing duplicated frames. The default is set to 10, which is usually good, but there may be times to consider pushing this a bit further. Just note, the higher the setting, it may remove and replace similar looking frames and not just the duplicated ones. There are a few things to consider with frame interpolation via Topaz Video AI. Slow motion tools and frame rate adjustments work very well in most cases. However, there are a few things to consider when filming and using this tool to get the best possible results. Frame interpolation will only be applied to the video. Thus, the audio will not be modified by the enhancement and will be removed from the video. Frame interpolation relies on motion estimation, so drastic changes between frames will not create other keyframes. Instead, with no real reference, the result may be a blurry mess. At times, there may be some footage with water in which there are high contrasts and reflective surfaces with extreme differences from frame to frame. This will cause a strobing effect with bright and clamped like colors when slowed down. So caustics over heavily pattern moving subjects or objects can distort at times. So caustics over backgrounds and non-moving subjects are usually handled well. Essentially cases where the pattern object is going in one direction while the other pattern is moving the opposite direction could cause artifacting. Slow motion can handle parallax very well. However, in extreme cases, many thin layers of parallax on a turning curve 
causes a wobble every once in a while to the parallaxed objects. Now keep in mind, when exporting, certain codecs are limited by the frame rate. So if you're pushing for a higher frame rate and you come across an error that's not related to the format, this is most likely the culprit. Thanks for joining me on another exciting Topaz Labs video AI tutorial. So whether you smooth your videos out or just slow things down a bit, have fun enhancing the world around you.